SPUQR1357, thank you for your sub. Let's play some more E4. How's it going, guys? We're gonna go after Ferenz now. Um, our truce with Scotland has apparently ended. Wasn't aware that we had a truce, but okay. They will re-up their efforts. Looks like Denmark is trying to land a 16 stack. I think we'll have time to just take one fort. Aragon's thinking about maybe taking back the capital for Spain. We're gonna land and go to friends. We're gonna check to see if... Can we see his war exhaustion? Does he have any? He has 1.39. So that does affect his enthusiasm. Um... I actually, I forget now. Did I, um... Did I mention Parliament between episodes, or was that in the end of the last episode? Yeah, they already have no truce. It's a good thing we're not allied to Scotland. Hey, okay, we still have 23 day siege ticks. We're spying on him. Um, I think that we will keep doing barrages. You think it was one or the other? Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think it was probably one or the other. One of those two. Go back to spying on Denmark. Look at them suffering that juicy 3.9% attrition. That siege will take a long time. That's 22,000, no, 24,000 troops from Aragon. Lovely. We don't really want to fight those. But um, this siege I think we can have done in less than half a year, hopefully. Which should buy us time to get back up. 91 days, pretty quick. Uh, these are probably worth occupying, I think. Although they'll be easy for the enemy to unoccupy. Um, we're here, and we need some recovery ticks anyway. Okay, Scotland now has positive 5 war score, not enough to send demands. The blockades are worth so much compared to the occupations that I've done for him. I can't do anything about the blockades, though, because we're not actually in the war with our navy. Can't let the capital fall. Gotta get up there to defend the capital. And it's already at negative 14. And he's landing another 16 stack in November. Which is well over a month away. I highly doubt we can get there. Before November. Yeah, November 23rd. All right, well, let's check to see if maybe the occupation was enough to make him not want to defend. That's the real goal. Oh, it's so close. <gasps> it's gonna happen. <laughs> All we have to do is get his war exhaustion up and get like two more little province occupations in and we're golden. So we gotta keep a diplomat free and check this like every month. He's at negative, he's at one reason now. I don't want you to declare war, so let's go ahead and actually use this mechanic. We're going to use uh, spend 10 favors to ask England to prepare for war. I don't want him to declare war on Scotland because I want Denmark to be stuck in an offensive war that they can't end. And I don't want him to say he's already active in a war. So we'll tell him to prepare for war. We're going to have him join us. That occupation's probably not enough. Might put him at zero. Nope, he's still at zero. Okay. I think we're like two months away from something glorious happening. Let's stop drilling. Let's get over to here. Bremen will defend uh, Denmark, I think. Okay, how's this occupation look? Oh, 21%. So close. If, if things don't go the way that I want, I'm going to be real mad. Steals on one reason. You know what we need to do? We need to actually get on Napoli. These occupations aren't worth enough to affect them. It's only the occupied and besieged provinces from the forts. Oh, never mind. He's at zero reasons. Perfect. All right, England, let's do this. We're going after... Slesvig. Finally! <laughs> Finally, the bullshit alliance of bullshit is done. Okay, so we are not at war with Castile. The alliance is over! Exciting! 
You can invest in new technology, admin tech, seven years ahead of time, get some innovativeness. Uh, we are, like, at the point cap. I feel like that's kind of a waste. And the burgers are finally loyal again. Let's just do some development. Um, I mean, it'd be nice if I could have the development edict on everywhere without having to do it manually, but... I'm just gonna be lazy. We're just gonna turn on the development edict literally everywhere in the whole country. It's not gonna matter there. We're not gonna do it in Conductive Martian, though. And then we'll just sink. Let's go to like 600 points. Uh, make it 500. We'll keep a little bit extra mill because I want to do barrages. Uh, no, I'm going to revoke- I'm going to keep the contract active because I want to help Scotland not lose their war. Because if we make it so Denmark is the aggressor in a war he can't end, that's real good for us. So this army, though, we do want to bring back. We don't want to finish that occupation. We want to get it. Uh, again, this is showing a fake battle, so we're not actually hostile to these navies. We want this navy to go... This navy is hostile to the Danish navy, so i got to pay attention for that. But we want to get up here and maybe unsiege this. We probably don't need fleet basing from France anymore. There's these guys stack wiped. Neat. Scotland white piece Bremen after our stack wipe. We don't need to spy on Casile anymore. Um, we should probably go back to improving with England, I guess. Okay, the Danes still have 25k troops over here, as expected. They are not going to give this up without a little bit of a fight. Let's park a few extra troops on there just to ensure that they don't try to go fight us here. They probably can't get past our zone of control, but... Um, get our navy up to here. I think we're going to stack wipe this army. His 682 no leader stack. Uh, hopefully we get lucky in the fort holds. Still held. We can actually dock up in Scotland on the first, which means, yeah, he, he's just going to get stack wiped now. We're the defender. This stack is currently hostile to Castile. Um, I do think we'll go kill it because we want to get Castile to want a separate piece now. We want, now we want Castile to bow out of the war with Scotland. We didn't want it earlier because then he'd still be allied to Denmark. Now, I don't think we have the aggressive expansion to take Bremen, even though I really do want that land. It's a free city, non-co-belligerent. So we'll just, um... Let's just force religion, transfer trade. Actually, we don't need the prestige. I don't care if he's the wrong religion. I want war reps, transfer trade power, money. Shorter truce. Um... Do you have any annoying alliances? Just Denmark. Lubeck. Yeah, he can- we'll do a short of truce. Don't I want more Protestant princes? Um, I suppose, but it, we don't need it now. I should care. Alright, I mean, that's a fair enough argument. Economics is usually the bigger motivator for me, but... Let's take, um... Trade power for sure, over money. Alright, so we're going to go back out here. 
uh, will be the aggressor if we try to land now, but he's a dummy, as I said. He, it's like it's like our army drops off the face of the planet. It just doesn't exist to him anymore because it can't be engaged. So he'll just march there with no leader, and then allow us to dock up and be the defender again. Stack wipe. Now we want to march over there to unoccupy that. We hopefully are going to be able to get an opportunity to get over onto Orkney to unoccupy the war goal for him. This army... Um, we have Munster military access. Let's cancel that. Let's go with access through Lubeck. We'll go siege down Lubeck. Let's turn on defensiveness here. Like the Danish fleet is strong enough that it's scaring our navy into hiding, which is fine. That's a good indicator for us. Useful. Looks like the Danish fleet dying around England now. Um, maybe. I mean, there's the 39 stack. That's the primary navy. Eight heavies, 29 galleys. It's probably transports that they've been using. Let's get our transports uh, docked up and repaired for now. And Dothith Martian, we need you to do your job and hold 39-day siege ticks versus our 22-day siege ticks. Um, let's go ahead and barrage. Barrage is an amazing mechanic. If, if you're not using barrage, you should. And I think, actually, um... We can probably march and just go kill this this army with the straight crossing. Because now our navy is hostile to Sweden and Denmark, so we can blockade this straight. And then I think we can get there. That's gonna put him at not good war score. France <laughs> France is still blockading stuff, even though he's super disloyal. What are you thinking, France? Stop helping him. We need to get the Danish war score with Scotland below 10 so that he can't send a forced peace offer. He's about to peace out. He wants out. He's scared. He wants to defend his homeland because he's in a defensive war. So what he's going to do is try to peace out in any offensive wars that he's in. We don't want that. We want him to be stuck in this war forever with Scotland gaining enthusiasm due to the fact that he's got a ticking war score in his favor. And then we want Denmark to get super, super punished by the fact that he can't exit his offensive war. Okay, Lubeck has fallen. That's going to go to our march, Switzerland. Actually, why does our march have no defensiveness? What the hell? Are you an inefficient march or something? 88. 88 divided by... 0.25. He's at- oh shit, I didn't realize this. He's got too much development, and he's an inefficient march right now. He's not even getting the march bonuses. Yet he is still technically a march. We need more development. Well, more reason to do with dev clicks, right? We're at 353, and Switzerland's at 88, so the math is 88 divided by 0.25. We need to be at 353, so he should be now an efficient march starting soon. There he is. Now he gets the plus 20% defensiveness. Um, our army versus the Danish army, 10 versus 11. Uh, I'd really like to have our whole army there, and considering we have crazy good siege ability versus them, I'm going to risk letting this fall, because if it does fall, we can just swoop in behind him and unoccupy it way faster than it took him to occupy it. Okay, Scotland has their war goal. Almost there. So if we don't get him below 10, then he'll just do a white piece. We gotta get him below 10. <laughs> Damn it. Blockade of Pisa by Aragon. He's getting two war score because I occupied this. Well, being unoccupied, so... They did unoccupy Toledo. Is 
The seal needs to bow out. I agree. We want Cleaves to like us or gain prestige. We're at 99 prestige. Sure, Cleaves, you can like us. Well, maybe I should have looked at the, the next event first. Okay, yeah, that's probably going to fall. Yep, and then he's going to go after this. We'll come in right behind him. And not even a single tick will have passed, so the garrison's going to be at 100. Which means that most two siege ticks till it falls. If we can get Castile to bow out, that's it. Perfect. So now Denmark is in an offensive war against Scotland, but he only has two war score, which means he can't send any demands. Scotland is not going to want peace because he thinks he's winning, because he is. He's got a ticking war score in his favor. Um, he probably has a temporary modifier to his war enthusiasm, the one that's called um, is making gains, because he recently got control of the war goal again. So that'll make him want to stay in the war, which is awful. This is the position you want to put them in. And this is where their 34-day siege ticks versus our 21-day siege ticks are going to make a big difference. Look, 43 days, we got it back. Great. Just kind of hang out here for a sec so we can get the garrison stronger. And then we'll go for the war goal. Also, I want to tell our subjects to be siege-focused. Hopefully they'll be, you know, aggressive and, like, go all the way around and siege random stuff in the Baltic. We're going to go threaten Castile's capital again. See if we can get him to peace out. We still want to keep an eye on that war score for him. I'm going to make sure that not... No little two stacks or anything sneak their way over there. Let's have this army land and work on... Let's see, Burgos or Leon? We'll go for Burgos. Slightly less penalizing if we get caught, and also it's less defensiveness. So quicker siege ticks. WTF is currently going on. Crazy shenanigans is what's going on. Let's get a carpet occupation over there. I'm going to see if I can convince, um, I'm going to try to convince England to invade northern Trondelag. We can get him to occupy something up there using his naval superiority, then we have a straight shot onto this side. Okay, how are we doing down here? We landed, there are troops nearby, let's go around. I'm not going to try to engage him in defensive terrain. We'll come back in through Sevilla again. We don't have fleet basing through France anymore, though, so let's re-up that. Yeah, no, we don't want to be friends with Scotland. Not really. Just gonna hang out on the war goal. We do not need to fight him. Let's land and march to Toledo. Naval battle. Okay, so our light fleet has popped out. They do have a flagship. Probably a heavy. It is. We don't want to be in this fight. We should disengage. Uh, I do think we want the, the naval... The admiral to be in charge. Let's protect trade in English Channel. Get the admiral up here. Chaos, chaos. And... Uh, I'm willing to continue using military points on this war. This is like one of the most pivotal wars in this campaign. So another barrage here to try to force Castile out of their war with Scotland is fine. Denmark is back above 10 war score due to the blockade of Outer Hebrides. France, you need to stop blockading stuff, man. You're not being a good France. You're being a bad France. You're helping. Why are you helping? Damn disease outbreak. There, yes. 
Scotland surrendered to Castile due to the blockades, but Scotland's out. Nice. Oh, it's so good. All right, so Scotland versus Denmark. Scotland's got the victory. We got naval superiority due to our war. England will protect him. And that means that he can't get out of the war. Scotland won't let him. Let's obviously cancel the contract now, since it was a free contract this time. Anyway, let's uh, march back up to here. No, actually, let's black flag all the way through. I think up to like Oldenburg. And Alexarin, you are our fastest dude anyway, so that's fine. Let's have Chaos go to there. Let's have our fleet go to Calais. We'll meet up the whole navy. Hey, because you'll click their button. They just inherited Aragon. They are now Spain. Scary. So we're earning our ticking war score. We have an occupied fort in the area. We only need Shellen. Something someone had po pointed out um, is that technically for the achievement, we, we could just wait for them to form Scandinavia. Because then Scandinavia makes Denmark not exist. But then we'd have to wait till Admin Tech 20. So, I, I'd probably rather just kill him, you know? So we're pretty much waiting for them to get this fort back, and then when they do, they'll move to Condath of Martian again, and then we'll just come in behind them again. No big deal. Improve relations with subjects a little, why not? The flashy thing's flashing at me, so I'm gonna take a short break here if you're watching on YouTube, otherwise I'll be back in a few minutes on Twitch. Thanks for watching everyone, see you soon.